Hi, it's been a while. Um, not been very well, unfortunately, so I've not been able to put some videos out. Getting there, my voice is still a little bit croaky, so uh, I've got a drink of water here next to me. But otherwise, I am actually getting back to my crochet. Hope you're all doing well out there. I know there's a lot of nasty things about at the moment, so sending my best wishes out to everybody. Here is my Chitose. She has her lamb hat. Easter time is coming. I love Easter. I love chocolate. That's why it's terrible. But uh, it's a really bad time for me for chocolate. But here she is. She's modelling her lovely little lamb hat. I have seen some with faces on, which you could do with this, but I decided to keep it quite plain. I think it suits her better rather than sort of lots of bits and bobs on it. Here is my yarn. It's come undone a little bit. It's about the third time I've tried this video because I'm trying a different positioning and I wasn't convinced on the light. I am going to be using Baby Glips, uh, Baby Glips even, Baby Glips uh, from King Cole. It is a double knit yarn, but it is slightly finer and it's very soft with it being a baby yarn, so it's lovely for that. So that is my yarn with a little sparkle to it. I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I have a little bit of felt to pop inside the ears, a little bit of embroidery cotton to stitch that in. You don't have to stitch it in. If you don't enjoy your stitching, you can glue it in. Just make sure it's nice and secure. And I've got my sewing up needle and my scissors there as always. So I can move all that out of the way. You don't need that. I don't know whether Shitozi's staying with me. You can stay there, Shitozi. Hopefully it won't distract too much. I still can't make up mine when it's a little bit dark. So we're going to get started. Remember, I am using UK terms. So we're going to start with our slip knot. Not too tight, remember, and onto our hook. So it needs to be able to move a little bit. We're going to do two chain. And into that first chain, we're going to do six double crochets. So I have one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And we are actually going to do a slip stitch join. I know when I'm doing my omegurumi, I don't, but I do need to do it on this one. So into that first one, pull the yarn through, pull the yarn through. So it's positioned. We can tighten that little hole up after, so don't worry about that. We're going to be doing, these are all popcorns. Now, if you've done my Easter basket or seen my Easter basket, it's very very similar almost well it's the same system it's just obviously measurements are going to be slightly different there so we're going to start with three chain one two and three now that three chain counts as our first treble so directly below can you see the little hole here we're going to do three more treble because these are four treble popcorn so that counted as one so that's one two and three so that gives us the equivalent to four trebles first one's a bit more difficult because we have to try and hook into the top of that three chain compared with a top of a treble so you do have to make sure you get a double piece there i didn't leave that very long always leave that a little bit longer uh, you can always tighten it up after so you grab it tighten it and pull it through and do a chain always a chain between each one now we should be left with five more because we need six of these popcorns so into our next one we have four trebles this time because it's a four treble popcorn so that's two three four my yarn's going to be rolling about i know it is so we're going to take the hook out into the top of the first treble in it goes so make sure you pick up both pieces grab your yarn you can tighten it up then and pull it through sometimes you need to wiggle it and do a chain so again that chain fixes it but the chain is also a chain space so we need to be aware of it four trebles into our next one so one two three and four top of the first treble grab the yarn, pull it through and do a chain. So we have three now, so you can see the popcorns forming. So we need another three. So we've got four trebles, one, two, three. The wool's pulling a little bit because it's caught on the doll actually. Let me take that bit out. Let's move the yarn, move, 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 move. How many had I done? I've only got two now. So we need four, remember, that's three. And that's four. I'm taking the hook out and popping it in the top of the first of those four. I'm grabbing my yarn and pulling it through and I'm doing a chain. So hopefully we've got three stitches left. No, two stitches. No, we've got one, two, three, four. We need six. So one, 
and two. That's good. I didn't realise how croaky my uh, voice sounded actually, but I'm noticing it now. Right, that's three, and that's number four. Take it out, pop it into number one, and pull it through and make a chain. We have room for one more, which is exactly what we were wanting. So, round the hook, four trebles into the space. One, two, three, yep, nearly caught. And four, take it out, pop it into the first one, grab the loop and pull it through and make a chain. I'm going to tighten this bit up now. Can you see how it tightens up? Yeah, so it's tightened up that centre part. Right, we are now going to be slip stitching into the top. Now, because these are joined, it's a bit weird where that is. So it's not along here, it's all the way up. Can you see into the middle? That's where I'm going to do my slip stitch. So it's where it joins. So that's our first little popcorn range. I am now going to slip stitch into the next space, actually. So if you just separate your popcorns oh, carefully, that is the, that is the space we want to go in. And I'm going to do a slip stitch. In it goes. And I'm actually going to do four treble popcorns again. But I'm going to do two in each of these spaces because we're increasing now. So I have my three chain, which will always count as our first treble. And in here I need four, well, three more because obviously that chain counts as one. Two. So that is four trebles. Take it out, top of the three chain, grab the loop and pull it through. Don't forget that chain. Now into the same space, because I said we're doing two in each space, because we need to increase, we need to make the hat a little bit bigger, don't we? So it's four trebles, because they're all four trebles now. It's only the first one that is th three trebles and one set, one chain, three chain. Right, in, grab, pull it through, make a chain. So that's two into that space. You'll start to see your spaces a little bit more, and I'm hoping it'll be a little bit clearer on here you can sort of see the shape coming so into our next space if you're not sure just separate up the two popcorns and it's the space in between and we're going to do four trebles so one two three and four pop it out into the first one and pull it through one chain Again, we need a second one in that space. So it's two in each one. So we're going to end up with 12 popcorns. So that's two. I'm knocking something and it's annoying. Me. Hang on a bit. There we go. How many was that? I do get distracted easy. I'm knocking it even more now. I don't know why I'm knocking it. That's three. It's my elbow as it's moving. It's catching on one of the wires. Into the top and pull it through and make a chain. So that's two in that one. So you can see we've got four. So separate it up to find that space. Right, I'm going to have to stop and move this because it's really annoying me now. Where is it? Right, I shouldn't have been... Oh, as I knock that, that really helped, didn't it? Not. <laughs> it's still doing it. Right, I'm going to move it completely. It's actually a wire that's hanging off from um, my stand. Right, I'm hoping I'm not going to knock it now. Where are we? Let's get back. I'm distracting, aren't I? Right, so we were doing a trebles, weren't we? So that's two. That's three. And that's four. Pop it out. Pull it through. And make a chain. Sometimes you do have to wiggle it when you're pulling it through. It doesn't always like to pull through easily. So that was just one in that space. We need two, remember. So two. I'm going to move a little bit faster. I do try and explain it to you so you can actually just pause it or slow me down or whatever you would like to do on the settings. Now, I'm, just remember, in each space, we are doing two four treble popcorns. Okay, make sure you get those chains in between because they do matter. Because when I'm referring to going into chain spaces, that is what I'm referring to. So don't forget it, otherwise it'll make it a little bit closed up. So you'll not quite get the shape you're looking for. Right, into the next one. So we have two in each. So I'm just going to speed up. As I say, you either stop, pause me, and just carry on doing two in two sets of popcorns in each space. Or you can just slow me down in the settings. 
again looking for that space it's sometimes a little bit tight at this point it gets easier as we go along so that's two three and four I've got so much to catch up on because I had actually got quite a few things prepared before I was poorly um, so um, I've got quite a lot for you to do not just crochet I've got all sorts of bits and bobs things like from the charity shop and dolls and oh, all sorts but uh, I will get there bit of catch up thank you for my new subscribers by the way it was quite nice to know that people were still looking even though I wasn't putting any videos up Oh, a little knot there, come on. I knew my wool had got tangled. Patient with knots and they usually do come out, although I can do without it when I'm trying to time them myself. Oh, naughty knot. I used to be a nightmare and impatient with them and I would just usually cut them off, which I'm not so sure I'm not going to do now, to be honest. No, oh, we're nearly there, are we? There we go. I sometimes wonder where knots come from. Because, you know, you all can be nicely rolling along and then all of a sudden, it's just this knot. It's like, where's it from? Nearly there. One more little bit. I estimate this hat to take about an hour. You're just going to be watching me on doing knots at the moment, which isn't very good. Um, I can see where it's going. Where are you going, Not I don't know. I'm not doing very well with this first video today. Everything seems to be going wrong. Let me take that out. Right, come on. Undo, Not. Oh, well, I'll give you time to catch up on <laughs> what I was doing. There we go. Round, round, round. One more, I think. Let's make sure. Yay, we're fine. We're clear. We're clear. Now I've got to check where I was up to. We were doing the two in each one, weren't we? So you've probably caught up with me now if you weren't. So that's a three. That's a four. Take it out, put it in the first, grab it, pull it through, and a chain. We've got one more to do. One more. I should end up with 12 popcorns. That's one, two, three and for a love popcorn stitch one of my favorites and um, pull it through do a chain and we need to slip stitch remember we slip stitch like into the middle part it's like where you've joined All right slip stitch join so we've got an increase there we are actually going to do the same again exactly the same two into each chain space so again if you want to pause me get on with what you're doing uh, and then come back to me after so it does take a lot longer than some of my hats this one so i did my three chain did it without telling you that one naughty three chain three pop three trebles remember that counts as your first treble and a chain now we can go four so it's four trebles one two three and four take it out into the top of that first one and pull it through and do a chain so that's our first now remember there's more now there's a lot more so you jump in in between every single popcorn so we have our four one two three and four take it out put it in the first one and pull it through and one chain and again one two three and four take it out put it in and pull it through so that's two in that one i will speed up slightly i can't remember that i finished the sentence now about how long it takes i think if you were steady at it and you knew you were comfortable with what stitches you were doing i'd say about an hour um it may take a little bit longer 
it's not as quick as doing some of the others because purely because there's so many stitches in one stitch. I mean, in a popcorn, you've got four stitches. So it is going to take a lot longer than just doing an amigurumi. It is well worth it, though. Make sure you are getting two in each. Easy to just carry on round with ones, which you will be doing in a few minutes. So it'll make it a bit easier then. That's three. Hoping to see some little lamb hats on the smart doll pages. I know there's a couple of you are waiting for the pattern. Should have done it yesterday. Um, but I've not, I've not been the only one that's been pulling in the house. So uh, unfortunately, uh, being mum, it comes down to me, even though uh, people are grown up. So is that a two in that one? It is. Everyone's starting to feel better now, though. So we are lucky it's all disappearing. That's three, four, pull it through, make a chain. Another one, one, two. Oh, I caught my other one up. That three, got another knot. This yarn is not playing nice with me today. If you get it just right, it'll, there we go, it comes straight undone. So what was that? Three, four, into the top of that first one and make a chain. Next space. Now, if you're not familiar with the stitch, you might actually be better off looking at my Easter basket one um, because it's coloured as well. It's a little bit easier to see what the stitch is, perhaps. I don't think this white is showing up very well. Um, also, if you're not familiar with if you've jumped in straight away, rather you know, if you're a beginner crocheter, if you want to have a look at some of the beginner ones for the trebles, etc, etc, it might help just a little refresher um, before you do set off with this. And then sort of when I'm just referring to terms, you'll know what I'm on about. So I know what I was like when I was learning. Look, look, you see, I'm jumping already. There should be two in there. Remember, two in each. It's because I'm talking. So two trebles. Two treble popcorns. All right, what we got? One, two, three. Four stitches. Four stitches. They're always four stitches. So if I say something else, just ignore me. They're all four <laughs> stitches. So that's two in that one. It feels like you're going round forever. That is why, as I say, I have prepared one where I've just done the one popcorns. So you don't have to watch me do all of it. I will tell you when that is and I'll tell you how many you need to do. There's nothing more boring than watching me do this. Although if you are crocheting with me, that's different. Apologise if I'm a little bit fast. Yeah, don't forget to check those settings out because you can slow me down or speed me up if you really wanted to. Your voice will certainly sound very strange if you do that either way, let alone it sounding croaky. In you go. Is that a one in that? No, it's six. We need another one. One, two, or not, three, and four. I think all you need to remember is there's going to be 24 popcorn. If you've got 24 popcorn, you've done it. You've got enough. Nearly lost that one. Doesn't want to play. There we go. And a chain. So we've got what? There's still three there because you can see the space. Space and space, each one of which is going to have two in each. We're already up to 18 minutes. I know probably I was uh, chatting for quite a bit of that at the beginning. Really not sure how this desk is going to work out, whether I ought to have a colour underneath me so you can see it better. I might have to get another cloth to go down on it. I was hoping because it was a light colour it would be better. I'm not overly convinced or I'm not sure whether it's the light. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a play around with it. I am definitely sat at the opposite side to what I normally do. Right, two. There's one. Two. Three. And four. 
Sometimes we'll do that I'll ever master this light. One minute it seems to work and I'm really pleased, then the next minute it's just not good at all. It does make a difference what time of day you do it as well. We are starting to get dark outside, so uh, that could be part of the reason. So that's a two in that one. So we've just got this last one to do. Very easy to miss that last one, so keep an eye out what you're doing. So that's one, two, three. And four, turn it into our four treble popcorn and a chain. Last one for this round that is one, two, three, and four. Pull into your popcorn, don't forget your final chain, and we are going to slip stitch into the back of that first one. Okay, so you can see we have the crown of the hat created here, so it fits nicely on the top. We are now only going to be doing one popcorn cluster in every single space. So you can see. So remember, we have 24 popcorn here, so we're going to have the same again because it's only going to be going in the same spaces. Now I'm double checking on the quantity four more times. There is actually five rounds, which we can see from here. So I've done one, two and three. So one, two and three. So we're one, two and three. So then I've got one, two, three, four and five more rounds. So I'm not going to show you doing five because that will take a long time. And as I say, you might be better off pausing the video and going off and doing it and maybe coming back because what I've done is the five for you. So that is what it'll come out like when we have our five popcorn rounds. Okay, so it was just one four treble popcorn into every chain space going round and round and round. Remember slip stitch join, slip stitch into the next space, three chain and off you go. It's exactly the same as this but you're only going to be doing one in each space because we don't need it to get any wider. So I'm hoping I've got enough wool here because I cut this off. Now as I say I've done the five rounds that I will be referring to. All we've got to do now is the little little bits that sort of shape around her ear you don't have to do that even you could leave it there but I quite like this sort of shape it creates around her face so you can see it sort of shapes down into a little ear flap but you don't have to do that if you don't want you could leave it at this point so that one's just come undone slightly so let's finish that to four treble popcorn And don't forget my chain and my slip stitch. Now I'm going to go straight into doing an ear flap. So by doing that, I'm going to slip stitch into that next space and I'm going to do three chain one, two, and three. And I'm going to do a treble popcorn into here. So that was our class as our first stitch. That's my second, my third, and my fourth. Take it out pop it in and pull it through. Now I'm going to do two more of those and then that's the bit over the ear. So just a four treble popcorn into the next space. One, two, three and four. Pull it through and chain. One more time. We have one, two, three, and four. And that three is enough to take it over the ear. So you can see there's a little bit of a shape there. But from now on, we obviously need to go in the other stitches. We are going to do two double crochets into each of those spaces now. So that's my next space and into there I'm going to do two double crochets and I'm going to do that ten times. So in we go. So just into the space. Don't try picking up stitches. Straight into the space. So that's our first one. That's our second one. Two in each space. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth. 
seven, just double crochets, remember, eight, nine, one more, and ten. So that takes you to approximately halfway across. Can you see? So if I fold it like that, I can see I'm opposite that other ear flap there. So I'm going to do one, two, and three as treble popcorns, but we need to slip stitch in first. Three chain, one, two, and three. So we've got three trebles, remembering the three chain counts as our first one. Take it out, top of the three chain. It's always more difficult for that one, through, and there. Into the next one, four treble popcorn. One, two, three and four. Oh, just have this holding my wool there. Grab it through. Next one. It's just three, remember exactly the same as on the other side. Three sets of uh, popcorn, should I say, not to confuse matters. Take it out, pop it in and pull it through. So now we need to do two treble, two trebles, two double crochets into each chain space again until we get back to those first ones. So we have, that's one, that's two, just into the space, not into the stitch. Three, four, five, six, and seven you notice it's less than ten that is okay that is what it's meant to be because working out their ear positionings um it is sort of shallower one side than the other which you'll see when you actually pop it on the head another knot again they're determined to knot so we're back round to our first ear flap where we were doing them i'm going to just do a double crochet over each one a little bit hard to jump into it so all i'm going to do to start with is i'm going to just gonna jump into that chain space can you see see where the chain was between the uh, the actual troubles i'm going to do a double crochet in there okay and then we're just going to do two double crochets in the space like we did before two double crochets in the space I'm going to do one in that one. Now that just goes over the ear flap. Now from now on in the double crochets that you made, they're just going to be slip stitches. Remember a slip stitch in, pull it through, pull it through. You see, I sort of twist mine. It helps me. It would help if I actually showed you on the screen. Push it in, pull it and pull through. Push it in, pull it through, pull it straight through the chain. By doing a slip stitch, it neatens the work. Depending on the hat, some hats you can't do it on because if you need a stretch, the slip stitch will stop your stretch. Definitely, because I've done a couple of hats and then I've realised that oh, I can't put it, not got the give that I want it. I'm going to call it that one. Let me take it back out. There we go. But I do sort of like do a little twist. However you do your slip stitch, I just do mine a little bit odd, I think. So I'm just... I'll try to slip stitch round to the next ear flap. Now remember when we go over the ear flaps, they are going to be double crochets because it's a little bit deeper, so I wanted it a little bit longer. Because you want to make sure you can see that it's an ear flap. So I'm almost there. Right. So they were all slip stitches. Now I've got the ear flap again. And remember the first one was a chain so I've just gone in in a double crochet then into the next space two double crochets next space two double crochets next space one double crochet then slip stitch into each of the remainder DC's until we get back to the first ear flap okay my pussycat to rattling about behind the door just wondering whether it's tea time I suspect so that's usually when she starts uh, loitering, wanting her food. Almost round. There we go, last one. And I'm going to find my scissors, little trim, and pull it through. So that is the hat. That is sort of like the little sort of hat shape. Can you see how we get this little dip here? 
so it would pop on that way the next thing we need to do is an ear now i'm only going to do one ear for you because again i think i've shown you it once you don't need to see it me do it the second time and also it sort of makes it a little bit easier for you to watch so oh, i just threw my um the word pen oh dear you know i'm going to give you all a headache today because i keep knocking it don't i keep still keep still it's a disaster zone today i think right we're going to start the ear with our slip knots remove all my bits and bobs so i can see and this is very amigurumi-esque well it is amigurumi to be honest we're going to do our two chain into our first chain we're going to do six double crochet one two three four five and six now no slip stitch we don't need to because we're going to go straight into that first one and we're going to do two double crochets in each one one that's our second one our third so it's two double crochets in each of the six that's our four This is five. One more. Makes us our six. So we have 12 stitches now. So pull it nice and tight. We're going to do just a double crochet round into each of those 12. So we can just count them. We don't need a stitch mark. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nearly there. Nine, missing it. Ten, eleven, and twelve. So we can start to see it starting to curve round there. So we are now going to do another increase round, but we're only going to increase by three. So we're going to do two in our first stitch, one in each of the next three. That's one, two, and three. That is one set. We're going to do that three times. So two in your first one, one in each of the next three. One, two, three. One more time. Two, and then three single ones shouldn't use the word single I keep telling myself off for that because they you're going to think that they're a different stitch they are double crochets right my yarn's getting tangled now because of the spare bit I had from doing the first bit let's move that over now we're going to do double crochet round you're going to have six so it is up to you if you pop a stitch marker in I have a, um, a carrot one actually I thought I'd choose an Easter themed one I don't have any lamb perhaps i need to get a lamb stitch marker i don't know so i'm just going to pop that in because it's mark it in it's a little bit large for this but if you're wanting to use a bit of thread or something like that it's just as good but at least by doing that you don't have to count all i'm doing is one double crochet into each double crochet all the way around and you're going to have six rounds of that so you are going to have to watch me do that unfortunately because and there's a little bit of decreasing at the end not a lot but again if you want to fast forward or if you want to pause you can do that at this point just remember six rounds now if you're wanting to make the ear longer you can do it longer so that's first round for us and you see the little shape coming number two again i don't need to count i do have a tendency to count even when i've got a stitch marker in even if i'm only counting in my head This is our second one, almost there. At least it's only 12 stitches, so it's not too bad. It's quite quick to go around. That's number two. Start of number three. So we're halfway around, really, when I've done number three. You can make shorter ears if you want, actually. You don't have to make them as long as I've made. I think most little lambs have quite long ears though. You could also do different colour lambs, of course. I mean, I've done this one, but you don't have to. Right, so that's number three. We're on number four now. Fourth round. 
I'll say the stitch markers are godsend when you don't have to count. And you've dropped my pen on the floor so I can't mark down how many rounds. That's why I keep saying I'm on my fourth round now to make sure I remember where I am. So this is number four, nearly done. And now we can start number five. The yarn's on the floor. And, oh dear. You know, as I say, I'm going to give you all a headache. I've knocked this so many times today. In some respects, I'm tempted to do the video again, but um, I think sometimes it's best to leave some mistakes in. We all make them. Right, last round without knocking anything. One, two, three. See, I'm at it again. I'm counting. I just count all the time, um, even though I don't need to. If you do want to, if you've not got a stitch marker in, obviously you're counting 12 stitches round. 12 stitches. We're actually 15, aren't we? Because we did that second increase. So I thought it felt bigger. Dear me. Can't read my own patterns. Right, so now we have our six rounds of 15 stitches. So we're going to do a little bit of two together in. So we're going to do two double crochets together. Remember, you end up with three on the hook. We pull it through all three. Then we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to do a decrease. So remember in, in, have three on the hook, pull it through all three. Then three stitches, one, two and three we have one more decrease so we're going to go one and one we have three pull it through then we have three stitches one two and three we're going to have two double crochets rounds now so we're back down to 12 we are down to 12 now honest one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One more round. I'm going to take this out actually because I'm counting, aren't I? So there's only twelve stitches. I think I can manage that without a stitch marker. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're going to just be doing two double crochets together until it is actually closed. Now I'm going to cut that one off because it's annoying me. There we go. So it's gone inside the ear anyway. Um, let's just do two together until we're closed. It's a little bit fiddly to hold when you're going to do that, but we're almost there. Doesn't take long at all. Where am I going? Getting dangled. Right, that was half a stitch. <laughs> Another one. Remember, you need three on the hook before you pull them through. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. I think you can leave it at that. There's a little hole, but we're going to be sealing that up anyway with a needle. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to pull that through. Now, I actually sewed this on first. Now, I've only used felt, so all you need to do is take the approximate shape of the ear, a little bit smaller, it's more like a teardrop shape, and stitching round one way or the other. Now, I don't know whether you can see I've overstitched. You can see the overstitch in there. You could do a running stitch if you want, or as I say, if you don't enjoy your stitching, you can pop it down to a little bit of glue. Just make sure it's really firm in there. A little bit of PVA or fabric glue should work quite nicely. After that, this is the thread you're going to use to sew on. 
as you can see with this one can you see where i've actually sewn it on you can choose your position of your ears you may want them higher or lower you could have them down here and i've just stitched them on a couple of times to make sure they're nice and solid and then obviously the second ear the other detail i've had it added to this is little plaits now my plaits are six strands but what i've basically done is i have taken three about a rule length strands so let's have a little look about well we'll take this one so we're about that sort of length i then fold them so i have three together thread them through if you want to check on my valentine's hat you will see how i've done that and then nice neat and tight plait little knot at the end just to finish it but again if you move them out of the way it still looks cute without them you don't need them it's just a little added detail but my valentine's hat has got how i've done that and shows you sort of how i sort my plaits out so i'm going to leave it at that we're actually on 40 minutes on the clock obviously i think you could be looking up to an hour and a half to get this completely finished because the stitching takes a little bit of time and remember we skipped those five rounds so remember you've got those five rounds to do or whatever length you're sort of wanting to do it but that is the exact measurements I did on my shitose I recommend you do keep trying it on you might find one row less it will come down to the type of yarn you've used because I said this is quite a fine double knit it is a baby double knit rather than a standard one so I hope you enjoyed that I hope it made sense <laughs> Um, and I hope you can understand my voice with it being a little bit croaky. Hopefully I'm going to be jumping into doing a few more things. I've got some Easter ideas coming up as well as some Dolly ideas. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please click on the bottom if you're not one of my subscribers. I would love to see that you are. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.